people welcome back to my youtube channel so another day another video this is an a1465 11 inch macbook air which came in dead which doesn't turn on so let's see let's connect the charger so we have a light green and orange but there's no fan spin and what is amperage it's taking 263 should also take 500 plus milliamps like in the last video it's taking 263 milliamps so 263 milliamps typically mean there's a short circuit on the logic board on the main power rail which is 12.6 volt power rail so i'll just feel you feel the heat from here this cap I think so somehow I'm let's put some little bit of alcohol on it and check how does it react to the oil if it if the alcohol jizzes away oh yes let's remove this cap and see how much voltage does it take I'll be back. So this is the capacitor which we have replaced. You can see the difference. So this is the factory, and this is which I have done. I will show you under the microscope. How does it look? If you can see the difference, so that's what you have replaced. So now, since you have replaced the capacitor, let's connect the power and check once again. And spins 500 milliamps, 530, 528, 600, 400 back again because the battery is not connected. So I will assemble this MacBook back into the casing. I will get back. Not to forget, the culprit is this cap. I forgot to show you guys something. So, since I was saying this is the capacitor which is at fault, so just under the microscope I just noticed something. Let me just show you to it. If you guys can see the crack on the on the capacitor on the top right corner, you can see the crack, right? So that crack is a culprit. So these are poly tantalum capacitors which are used on these high voltage lines. So the crack on the top left, sorry, sorry, the top right side is the culprit of this dead condition of the MacBook. So now since we have replaced the capacitor, it's back. So this is the thing I wanted to show. The crack on the top left side is the culprit. So usually you won't be able to see the crack. Even if you look at it like this, the normal human eye you won't be able to notice the crack so this is the reason why we use a microscope to look at this micro electronics so this is how it looks to the naked eye but under a microscope so we magnify it to this level and see so that we can see each and every part of the macbook so the macbook assembly is done so we have assembled the macbook completely so now what we'll do is we'll open it. The MacBook is open. So now we'll connect the power. One, two, three. So this particular battery has bulged. So if I'm connecting the battery, it's not working over the battery. So now what I have done is I have disconnected the battery here. So I'm connecting it to the power. New light, orange light, fan spin. Let's wait till it posts. There's a backlight. So let's cover the name of the client for safety reasons. And since the battery is bulged, it's not working over the battery, though the battery has to be replaced. But apart from that, the MacBook is fixed. It's working. 
probably this customer needs the battery replacement.